How y'all doing this morning? How y'all doing this morning? Check in, check in, check in. How y'all doing this morning? Go ahead, talk to me nice. Go ahead, talk to me nicely this morning. Let me get my little self together. How y'all doing, man? Listen, y'all know it's spring break. Y'all know it's spring break, so you know what I'm saying? Trying to rearrange my life, you know what I'm saying, for spring break to make sure I'm still able to get these videos in for you guys and all of that as well, man. Listen, I be trying to work through it. That's one thing about me, man. I'm going to try to do what I can do to make sure that we stay consistent, to make sure that, you know what I'm saying, we get these videos and stuff done. How y'all doing this morning? Shout out IG. How y'all doing this morning? What's going on over here on TikTok? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Wishing everybody an amazing, amazing, amazing day this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to wait on everybody to get in the room before we get started. Y'all go ahead and do me a favor real quick, man. As y'all come into the room, do me a favor and go ahead and let me know where you're viewing me from so I can shout out some of y'all's areas. Go ahead, let me know where you're checking me out from, man, so I can shout out some of y'all's areas. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How y'all doing? What's going on? How you? That's right, man. Ohio, I see you guys. You know what I'm saying? What's going on in Ohio, Pennsylvania? I see you guys as well. Good morning. Good morning. How y'all doing, man? Okay, Baltimore, Dallas, Miami. Okay, Brooklyn is here. North Carolina, Massachusetts is here as well. Okay, man, Big Houston. Everything big in Texas, man. What up, Virginia? What's up, uh, New York? What's up, Brooklyn? What's up, Florida? What's up, Jersey? I see y'all, man. Look at Columbus, Georgia. New Orleans is here. Okay, man, let's go. Greenville. I see you guys. Okay, New Bern, New Jersey. Tap in, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. Even though it's spring break, we still got to tap in, right? Coach told y'all already, what, we ain't got no days off, baby. That's right. No days off, man. We got to work this thing. We got to wake up every single day, and we got to focus on ourselves and our development. What's going on in Canada, Oklahoma, Las Vegas, Pittsburgh? Good morning to you guys. What's going on in Big Dallas? How y'all doing? Covington, how y'all doing this morning? I see y'all Harrisburg. How y'all doing? South Africa. What's going on, man? Chicago, West Side. How y'all doing? Big Detroit. How y'all doing, man? Before we jump into our live video this morning, one of the things I want to say to you guys is that I got four tickets left for Queens, New York. I got 14 tickets left on the Eventbrite for Queens, New York. And I need you guys to tap in, hit that Eventbrite, go get them tickets, because y'all know Coach Like a Soul Out event. Come on, man, tap in. I need y'all to support. I need y'all to get on the bus, get on the train, get on the plane. I need y'all to carpool, but I need you to do what you got to do to make sure you in the building. If you in Philadelphia, if you in Baltimore, if you in Virginia, any part of New York, get on that train and make your way to Queens. That's right, Saturday, April the 29th. That's right, I'll be in Queens, New York. I'm doing a full meet and greet and we're doing the whole entire show, man. A full workshop on self-development. I need y'all in the building. Get inside the room, man. Let's go tap in, tap in, tap in. As we get this live going, man, yeah, I know y'all probably thought, man, Coach ain't going to be doing no videos this week. I know y'all was thinking that Coach ain't doing no videos this week. She already told us she on spring break. But guess what? I didn't say I wasn't doing no videos. That's right. I never told y'all that. So I am here. I am here. Might not do one on Wednesday, but I'm going to make sure you get one today. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. One of the things we're going to be talking about this morning, baby, I need for y'all. Y'all, come on. I, I'm going to talk about it. And I know some of y'all might feel a way, but I'm going to talk about it. I need for you to understand. Go ahead and put it inside of your notes real quick i'm about to give you the topic double tap oh man i was about to say get me the 10k but man look at here y'all at 14k tiktok y'all not playing with me this morning come on ig y'all know the rules y'all know the regulations for watching coaches videos right first thing first i need over on ig we got to get 40 badges tiktok we need 500k y'all double tap on that screen y'all send the love through this morning because guess what look at friends say share 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 that's right tap in tap in tap in tag your best friend tag the one you go to brunch with, the one you go to lunch with, the one you spend Easter Sunday with, tell them to come on in the room, baby. Hello, somebody. Double tap on that screen. Show me some love. And I want, yeah, I need for y'all to write this. I'm about to give y'all the topic for the day. Mm -hmm. The topic for the day is what? Baby, you do it your way, and I'm going to do it mine. Hello, somebody. You do it your way, and I'm going to do it mine. So y'all already know we about to tear the thing down this morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Y'all already know how this here about to go, right? That's right, baby. You do it your way, and I'm going to do it mine. That's the topic that we got this morning. That's what we're going to be talking about on today. Because, see, last week we talked about what? We talked about self-discipline, right? And that self-discipline teaches us to get started right now. Self-discipline. 
discipline keeps us in alignment. Self-discipline requires us to do self-checks. Self-discipline is what we use to make sure that we're focusing on ourselves and working on ourselves on a regular basis, right? So we talked about self-discipline. The next thing that we talked about is what? Training your brain. And what did we talk about with training your brain? That you have got to do what? Shut down negative thoughts with a positive one. Every time something negative pop into your mind, you owe it to yourself to open up your mouth and respond in a positive way. And why do you want us to do that, coach? Because I want you to speak positively over your life. I want you to respond to life and its un inconsistencies and its unexpected blows in a more positive way. I want you to learn how to function out of wisdom and not out of emotions. So that's right. So we talked about self-discipline. We talked about training your mind. And today we're going to talk about you do it your way and I'm going to do it mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. Yeah, y'all better get ready, baby. Hello, somebody. Double tap on that screen. That, that those are the two things that we done talked about already. We in boot camp. We in boot camp. So y'all already know what time it is, right? So we talked about those things. And if I'm not mistaken, I came back, which I did on Saturday, and I said, y'all, you know what? I should have gave y'all a little bonus, right? So those of you that showed up to the live on Saturday, y'all got them bonus notes, right? And, and, and I'm gonna run through them, right? One of the things we talked about self discipline. We talked about training your mind, and what I gave them on Saturday when I gave them that bonus. Bonus live, it was about three things. It was about three things. Number one, it was about stability, right? And that was because I need for you to understand how important it is for you to have a solid foundation. How important it is for you to know exactly where you stand. Back in the day, they used to say, baby, if you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. And I need for you to understand that that right there is a fact. You can take that slam on to the bank. If you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. You will fall after anybody. You you will invest in anything all the time and you will constantly find yourself doing what? Starting over and over and over and over again, not because of your own mistakes, but because of the fact that you're following in behind somebody else. What do we call that? The blind leading the blind. Hello, somebody. You got to have stability. That foundation got to be strong. You got to know what it is that you want in your life. You got to know why you want that in your life and you got to have a plan of how to get it and after you get it, you have have to have a plan on how you gonna do what multiply it hello somebody yeah i'm running back through it i'm giving y'all saturday notes right again i'm giving y'all saturday notes again y'all might well double tap on my screen man shout out tiktok i see y'all subscribing to my videos man i see y'all man thank y'all so much i see the gifts coming double tap over here man i seen y'all already blessing me with the uh badges i appreciate y'all man i see my favorite over here as well loving single shout out ashley over here she just slid over here to ig y'all she didn't abandon us on tiktok she just slid to ig she like i'm going over here hey it don't matter as long as you get in the messages hello somebody so the first thing that we talked about on saturday was stability you gotta have stability what's going on dessa i see my girl over there yeah check in check in so you have to have stability you gotta know what it is that you want you gotta know why you want it and you gotta have a plan on how to get it and after you get it you have to have a plan on how you're going to multiply it how you're going to multiply it. the next thing that i told y'all that was important in this journey is what it's about the site as well right tap in with me tap in it's about sight coach that's right it's about how you view certain things sometimes you have got to train your mind to view things from a positive standpoint why because thinking negatively it comes to us naturally we can naturally think negative without any help at all we can look for the worst case scenario without any help at all as soon as something happened we go to worst case as soon as somebody say something we go to worst case we can have a hundred great comments in the comment section everybody can be go 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 Every Everybody can be, you can got it, you got it, you got it. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. But let one person say something negative. And guess what we'll do? Because we're naturally programmed for to respond to the negativity. We will go right over there and we will start giving that one comment, that one comment, all of our attention, all of our energy, all of our effort. We will throw our whole entire day over there focusing on that one negative comment, even though we've had so much other positive things that was being said you got to correct your vision right so that's stability that's sight 
Those two things. These are things that we talked about on Saturday. I'm just making sure y'all got the notes. I'm just making sure y'all got the notes. And the, and the third thing was what? The third thing that we talked about on Saturday was stamina. That's right. The third thing was stamina. Baby, you got to have the right drive for this. You got to have the right passion for this. You got yeah, you and you got to have it all the way through. You got to be hungry in the beginning. You got to be hungry in the middle and you got to be hungry in the end. All everything that you're doing in your life right now when it comes down to you reprogramming your thinking, when it comes down to you reevaluating and recreating your life and creating a better version of you, it's going to require you to do what? Have that same type of passion, that same type of drive, that same type of grit, that same type of grind all the way through. So that sight, that stability, and that stamina. Those are things that we've already talked about. So this week, we about to get into this right here. You can do it your way, but I'm going to do it mine. Hello, somebody. Yo, yeah, yeah. You can do it your way, baby. But uh, yeah, I'm going. But I'm going to do it mine. I don't mean no harm. But I'm going. I'm going to do it my way. You can do it your way. But I'm going to do it mine. That's right. I'm gonna do it mine, baby. I gotta focus on self. I can't get to where I need to get to over there trying to follow in behind you. I can't do what I need to do over there trying to follow in behind you. I can't handle the business that I need to handle over there following in behind you. You gotta understand that number one. When you start working on yourself and your development, you gotta be prepared to lose some folk. You got to be prepared for some folk to walk away. You got to be prepared for some folk to get upset, for some folk to get in their feelings. You got to be, you got to be prepared for this because baby, when you start working on yourself, it's going to come with a whole lot of goodbyes. Hello, somebody, you can put that in your notes. When you start working on yourself, it's going to come with a whole lot of goodbyes. That's right. Hello, somebody, talk to me nice. Anytime that you start focusing on yourself and your development, you got to be prepared to say goodbye to some folk. You got to be prepared for some folk to walk away from you. You got to be for prepared for some folk to cut ties with you. You got to be prepared for some folk to get in their feelings. It's going to be some folk that's going to be extremely mad at you for you working on you. And you got to understand that you owe it to yourself not to get sidetracked by that. Yeah, put it in your comment. I can't get sidetracked, baby. I can't. I I I I I can't get sidetracked, baby. I can't get sidetracked. I just need you to put it in your comment section. I can't afford to get sidetracked. I can't get sidetracked, baby. That's right. I cannot get sidetracked. I need for y'all to put it in the comment section real quick. I can't afford to get sidetracked. I can't be sidetracked. That's what I can't do. I can't start giving minor things major attention. I can't do that. I can't step out of alignment. I can't afford to do that. I can't go over there and exchange no negative energy. I can't afford to do that. I can't get down on your level. I can't afford to do that. I can't go over there and lay down my, my religion. I just can't afford to do that. You got to get prepared that when you start working on yourself and your development, that's note number one in black ink pen. When you start working on yourself and your development it's going to come with some goodbyes. It's going to be some hard goodbyes and it's going to be some easy goodbyes. But baby, it's going to cause you some goodbyes. You're going to have to walk away from some folk. You're going to have to cut ties with some folk. You're going to have to distance yourself from some folk. Why? Not because you don't love them, not because you don't want to be there with them, but because your focus, your goals, your aspirations, the things that you want out of life is going to require all of your attention and you cannot afford to get distracted. Oh yeah, that was for somebody. Yeah, that was that. Yeah, that was that was for somebody. Yeah, that was that right there. That was for somebody. Y'all might well. Yeah, y'all can go ahead and send me a badge right now on that one. Go ahead, double tap on my screen. I see y'all. There you go. I see it. I see it, man. I see it right there. That's a black ink pen note, baby. Yeah, me working on myself. It's going to require some goodbyes. It's going to require me some goodbyes. That's right. I might have to fast from some folks for a couple of days, maybe a couple of months. I might have to put some distance in between me and some folk. Coach, I get what you're saying. I yeah yeah. I understand what you're saying. That sometimes you know what I'm saying. You won't. You won't them to be there. You want them to celebrate with you. You want them to turn up with you. But the truth of the matter is some folk won't be able to understand or be able to comprehend the vision. And sometimes you got to leave folk, not because you don't love them, not because you don't want to celebrate with them at the end, but because what you're doing, they just don't understand this. This right here, just above them. They don't get this right here. And you can't afford to have to have carry that, 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 that weight, baby. I can't afford that weight. I can't drag that weight along with me. So when I start growing and I start 
start evolving in life, it's going to require me to walk away from some folk. It's going to require me to put some distance in between me and some people. And what I want you to understand is I don't want you to get distracted by that. I don't want you to think that just because you're walking away from these group of people that all of a sudden you're doing something wrong or you're the bad guy or you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that. I want you to understand that you have to separate yourself and get around some like-minded folk, some folk that want to grow, that want to heal, that want to evolve, that want to live a better life. Because if you don't, if you stay around any type of toxic type of behavior, eventually you're going to partake in that behavior. And that's a fact. The old folks say, baby, you sit around the fire long enough, you're going to get burnt. Come on, talk to me nice. If y'all know what I'm talking about, double tap on my screen. Oh, baby, if you sit around the fire long enough, you're going to get burnt. That's good, bad, or indifferent. If you sit around that negativity long enough, you're going to join into that negativity. If you sit around that discord like that, then eventually you're going to join right back in. So you got to be careful of the people that you're connected to. You people that you're surrounding yourself with, you got to be careful with the way that you handle certain situations because you got to understand that that's right, baby. I can't, I, yeah, yeah, this priceless. I can't, I can't let you ruin this for me. I didn't came too far to throw it all away. I didn't work too hard on myself for me just to allow somebody to come into my life and rob me of all this here work. You got to understand. I tell y'all this every video. A person that don't have nothing to lose, oh, baby, they'll help you lose everything that you have. So when you start working on yourself, number one, is that it's going to come with some goodbyes. And that's okay. Do not get distracted by that. Don't get distracted by it. Don't get over there and get discouraged. Don't get over there and lose focus. Don't get over there and start paying them attention that they do not deserve. You got to keep moving forward in your life. You working on yourself will require you to cut some folk off. Yeah, I want. I, I just want. Yeah, I just y'all go ahead and put that in your notes. I'm gonna give you time to write. I'm gonna give you time to write. I'm gonna give you time to write real quick. How y'all doing, man? I gotta make sure y'all phone. I gotta make sure the phone don't get too hot. Uh, yeah, come on, man. Double tap on the screen real quick. Double tap on the screen real quick. Talk to me nice this morning. Talk to me nice this morning. Let's be real about it. I'm waiting on y'all to write it down. If y'all ready for y'all next note, I need y'all to put it in the comment section. We ready, coach. If y'all ready for y'all next note, I need y'all to put it in the comment section. We ready, coach. If y'all ready, I need y'all to say y'all ready i need y'all to double tap on that screen i need y'all to send me some love real quick y'all at 116k tiktok over here i think we got 10 badges we need 30 uh 30 more double tap on that screen send me some love I, okay i see y'all say we ready coach i'm waiting on ig y'all let me know when y'all ready double tap send me some love let's go double tap send me some love y'all ready okay let's get them back we got to get y'all back up here baby we got to make sure i don't let that phone get hot i don't want y'all to go out on me hello somebody your next note is this right here you can you can't get a better life until you get better hello somebody let's talk about that you can't get better until you get better baby you cannot get better you can't get a better life until you get better you cannot get a better life until you get better coach can you break that note down that's a black ink pen note right there you cannot get a better life until you get better you gotta understand that if you want something better in your life that starts from the inside that starts from the inside. Hello, somebody. That starts from the inside, sweetheart. That's something that you got to work on on the inside. You got to change the way that you think. You got to change the way that you speak. You got to change that way that you behave. You got to change the way that you respond. If you want a better life, you yourself have got to do the self work, the inner work, the root work on yourself to be able to create that. Like I said a million times, baby, you cannot have peace if you don't create it. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a red ink pen. You should put that in red ink real quick. You can't you can't have it. You can't have a peaceful life until you create it. It ain't at Walmart, sweetie. Yeah, you can't get that from Kmart. You can't slide through Food Lion. You ain't gonna be able to go over to Win Dixie. Hello, somebody. You can't do it. If you want peace in your life, is you gotta create it. If you want joy in your life, you gotta create it. If you want sanity in your life, you gotta create it. These are things that you are you yourself are responsible for. You are responsible for your own joy. You are responsible for your own peace. You are responsible for your own sanity. These things right here, these are your jobs, baby. Hello, somebody. Somebody, they can't just give it to you. You got to work at it every single day. You can't take no days off from it. You got to show up every day with it. Peace is going to be at your door every day, just like Discord, baby. And it's going to be up to you as to who you give your ear to. It's going to be up to you as to who you give your attention to. It's going to be left up to you as to what side you're going to be on. So when I 
I say the topic of this morning is what? You have it your way and I'm going to have it mine. Or you do it your way and I'm going to do it mine. That right there, that note number two, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Right there, baby. If I want it in my life, I'm going to have to do it. If I want it to show up in my life a certain type of way, it's going to require some work on my behalf. It's going to require some sacrifices on my behalf. It's going to require that I sit down and not take accountability for my life and the things that I allow to take place in my life on a cycle. Oh, baby, I'm the only one that can break that. Hello, somebody. You might as well double tap. You might as well double tap. You might as well send some love. Hello, somebody. Let's just be real about it. We be sitting over there waiting on somebody else to come and give us joy, come and give us peace, to come over there and do something in our life. We be sitting over there waiting on them to come and do this, that, and the third. And the truth of the matter is, can't nobody do it for you. You got to do it for yourself. You got to want it for yourself. You got to grind for it for yourself. You got to wake up and you got to chase it down yourself. You got to, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is something that you got to make sure that you're putting your time, your energy, and your effort into. Because like I told you before, what you see in public is going to be a reflection of the work that you did in private. That's a red ink pen note. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to wait on you. I'm going to wait on you. Go ahead, y'all. Go ahead. I'm going I'm, I'm to I'm wait on you on that one. I'm going to wait on you on that one. And that's a fact. And that's a fact. I'm going to wait on you. Let me get this right right here. Yeah, that's a fact right there. The work that you do, oh, oh baby, the work that you do and what you see in public, that's going to be a reflection of the work you did in private. I need y'all to write that down. Friends say, ouch, double tap on that screen. Send me some love real quick. Send me some love real quick. That, yeah, send me some love. That's a red ink pen note. That's right. That that your fruit, come on now. You, 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 you on point this morning. Your fruit, baby, that's right. What you do and see in public is going to be a direct reflection of the work that you put in in private so if you ain't working in private if you ain't studying if you're not fasting if you're not praying if you're not following your routines if you're not making a positive deposit inside of your own life then guess what your life the life that you live is going to be a reflection of it we're going to be able to tell it you ain't got to say nothing to nobody about it they're going to be able to look at it all over you we see that you always talking about that you're working on yourself we see that you always talking about you're doing this this and this but at the end of the day, why this person here and you still struggling in life? Why you ain't did this, that, and the third? Because hey, you being slack, you only cheat nobody but yourself. That's it. Ain't nobody affected or, or impacted by you not doing your self-work but you. You ain't hindering nobody's growth but yours. You ain't stopping nobody's healing but yours. You get yeah, the only person that's impacted by you not doing the necessary work on yourself so that you can create a better version of you. Nobody's affected by that but you. Hello, somebody. So that's right. So every single day that you wake up, it should be a top priority of yours to do what is necessary in your own life. You owe it to your Yourself to work on you. You owe it to yourself to show up for you. You owe it to yourself to make sure that you are your own star player. Baby, I'm the MVP on this team. Double tap on that screen, baby. Yeah, you want a better life? You got to get a better you first. That's your black ink pen note. That's the black ink pen note. The number one note was what? In order for you to get a better life, getting a better life is going to require you to cut off some folk. It's going to require you to let go of some folk. Note number two was, if you want a better life, you got to get a better you first. You got to get a better you. You Because this right here, baby, this is inside out, not outside in. We sick and tired of dealing with beautiful disasters. We sick and tired of putting up with folk that look good but really damaged in the inside we sick and tired of coming over there and seeing people that are good we looking for better and then some of us looking for better than better because once we get exposed to something that's better than good we don't look at good the same once we get exposed to something that's better than better we're not looking at better the same you should wake up every single day and want to go for better than what yesterday was baby i'm going for better than better hello somebody put it in red ink pen put Put it in the comment section. What are you doing this week? I'm looking for better than better. Why? Because I deserve better than better.
Y'all, come on now. Come on. I deserve better than better. Put, I put it in the comments. I want better than better. I want better than better. I'm going to go on to note number three, but baby, y'all got me caught up, baby. Y'all got me caught up. Oh, y'all, come on now. Come on now. I need you do it your way and I'm going to do it mine. That's right. You do it your way and I'm going to do it mine. Yo, your way might not be good enough for me. Your way not might not be my way. What you going through might not be my struggle. You can do it your way and I'm going to do it mine. Why? Because I understand that it's okay for me to stand out. It's okay for me to be original. It's okay for me to be by myself. Why? Because I've developed the mentality of what? Less is more, baby. That's right. It less is more. I ain't got to worry about no extra attitudes. I ain't got to worry about no extra personalities. I ain't got to worry about no emotional roller coaster. I ain't got to worry about one day you're happy, the next day you're sad. Baby, it's okay. You do it your way and I'm going to do it mine. You handle it the way you want to handle it and I'm going to handle it mine. It's okay for you to be one of one. It's okay for you to be by yourself. It's okay okay for you to walk this walk alone this right here is a self journey this is self healing this is self development what that means this ain't no group project this ain't no doggone group project I don't need everybody on board for me to do what I need to do. You ain't got to be in agreement with me. You ain't got to be on my side. I, I, I'm one of one, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm one. I'm one of one. Talk to me nice. Put in the comment section if you ready. If you ready for note number three. Put in the comment section if you ready for note number three. If you ready for note number three, put it in my comment section real quick. Double tap on that screen. Send me some love, man. Yeah, let me so I got to swap it out. I refuse to let y'all go out this morning. I ain't let neither one know. I don't care how many times I got to move it around. I don't care how many times I got to move it around. I'm going to make sure. Hey, I'm in South Carolina, y'all. Y'all got to bear with me. Here the heat be heating. Understand that. It be, you see how I'm sweating? The heat be heating. So that's the reason that when you see me moving the phones around, it's because I'm putting them in front of the AC unit. I got to make sure that I'm keeping them cool. Oh, yeah, this is how serious I be about my lives. This is how serious I and, and committed. This is how serious and committed I be about my videos. I'm, oh, I'm going to do these. I don't care how I got to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make this happen right here. Oh, y'all ready? Note number three is this right here, baby. Your, uh, your authenticity. Oh, baby, that's powerful. You got to know how important it is for you to be an original. It's okay for you to stand out. You weren't created to blend in with folk. You ain't got to blend in with the mass. You ain't got to agree with the mass. You ain't got to be on board with the mass. You ain't got to go over there and do it the way that they've always done it. Tolerate what they've already tolerated. Put up with what they've always put up with. You got to understand that you being an original, oh, that's powerful. <laughs> One of one. <laughs> yeah, I led myself right on in to note number three. Oh, me, me, me being original, that's powerful. Why? Because everybody can't do it. Everybody can't do it. Yeah, yeah, I, me being original, oh, baby, that, 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 that's powerful. Why? Because everybody can't do it. Everybody want to fit in with everybody else. Everybody want to be on board with everybody else. Everybody wants something that everybody else is co-signing. Everybody want to be a part of what everybody else got going on. So much so that there's nobody being original. And I want you to understand that that's powerful in being original. Why? Because you don't know what you're capable of until you step from up under the comfort zone of other folk. Until you get from up under. Yeah, yeah, sometimes you gotta go against the grain. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to. Yeah, send me some love though. Send me, send me, send me some love. Send me some love. Double tap on the screen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some, this ain't no group project. Sometimes you gotta go against the grain. Sometimes you're going to have to go against the grain. I need y'all to double tap on my screen, IG. Send me some love real quick. Send me some love. If y'all got a badge or two, send me a badge. I think we at 20. We need 20 more badges over here on IG. Man, y'all already at 210K uh, over here on TikTok. Let's go. I need y'all to send me a badge, man. If I didn't bless your soul thus far, if I motivated you thus far, if I gave you confirmation thus far, if I gave you morning inspiration thus far, send me a gift real quick over here on TikTok. Send me a badge real quick over here on IG. Let let me know let me know when I'm in the building let me know when I'm running up and down your house because I know for a fact that some of y'all that's what your greatest struggle is right there you don't know who you want to let go or you trying to figure out if I let them go how they gonna feel what they gonna think what they gonna say what type of conversations that they gonna have behind my back and that right there when we started out that first note was already for you because coach I want to live a better life I want to fix my life I want to grow I want to develop but the problem that I'm having is I don't want to be lonely I don't want to be isolated 
isolated. I don't want to be by myself. Hello, don't make me break it down. Hello, come on, double tap on my screen. Send me some love. And the other one is some of y'all want that good life. Some of y'all want the finer things in life. Some of y'all want to do this, that, and the third. But y'all afraid to become a better you. You put you slacking off on the self work. You want to be beautiful on the outside, but don't want to have nothing to offer from the inside. So you getting that better life is going to require you to do that self work, that root work. You're gonna it's gonna require you to do the things that you need to do within yourself. Oh yeah, y'all make me go back through. Y'all made me, y'all made me go back through them that fact. Yeah, y'all made me do that because y'all was acting like y'all didn't know why y'all deserve. I need, I needed a badge or a gift, so I had to run that thing back for you real quick. <clears throat> Double tap on that screen. Mm -hmm. And note number three, y'all heard note number three, right? Being original is powerful. Why is it powerful, coach? Because everybody can't do it. Everybody can't do it. Everybody want to fit in with everybody. Everybody want to be a part of everybody crew. Everybody want to be down with everybody. I want to be down. I don't. I don't. I'm okay with being the original. I'm okay with standing out. Why? Because I wasn't designed to step in, to sit in, or to fit in. I'm okay. That's right. When I walk into the room, I'm not walking in like everybody else. When I get up, baby, I'm not getting up like everybody else. Understand that you you being original. Oh, that's powerful. That's powerful. Why is it powerful? Because, Coach, everybody can't do it. Everybody can't do it. Y'all see it like I see it. Every, everybody can't do it. Everybody can't do it. And I want you to understand that it's okay for you to do what? Red ink pen note. I'm going through your notes. Red ink pen note. Sometimes you got to go against the grain. You're going to have to go against the grain. That's a red ink pen note. That's what you're supposed to have wrote down. If you have not hit that subscription button, make sure you hit that subscription button. Get subscribed to the lives. If you're not following me, make sure you hit that follow button. Make sure y'all following my page. All that good stuff. Y'all ready for y'all next note? Put we ready inside the comment section. Double tap. Let's go. Over here, 400, oh, 246. Okay. I see y'all. I see y'all talking. Oh, man, you better understand. I, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm not I'm not dumbing me down to fit into what nobody wants. I ain't going to be able to do it. I'm not watering me down to be able to get along with nobody. I'm not tiptoeing around. No different subjects just so I can play nice with other folk. I'm not going outside of my way doing all that extraness that folk be doing. Oh, baby, like it or not, keep it moving. That's how I'm living my life every single day. You got to understand that it's extremely important for you to be original, for you to stand out for you to understand that less is more you don't have to have everybody to get it accomplished you don't have to have everybody co-signing and everybody clap slapping the back on your back patting you on the back telling you good job because the truth of the matter is half of the time when they telling you good job they still going behind your back and talking junk they still going behind your back and slandering you they still walking beside you right there walk front row seats to everything that you're doing and they're not there to help they're there to spectate so you got to understand that it's okay for you to do some things by yourself this ain't no group project you ain't gotta do your part they do their part and y'all put it together for one grade no ma'am no sir it is okay for you to be an original it is okay for you to stand out it is okay for you to do it by yourself and even though when you start your journey and you start walking away from folk putting distance in between you and folk you gotta understand that's when you gonna start attracting yeah, let be real. You be thinking the whole time you're going to be lonely. You're thinking the whole time you're going to be by yourself. You're thinking the whole time that, oh, yeah, well, I don't know if I want to do this. But the whole time, guess what? As soon as those people move out out of the spaces of the ones that's taking up that space, them folk ain't doing nothing but taking up space in your life. Those folks are not even beneficial to you and your growth. Those folks are not even pouring into you. Those folks that you're talking about, they not even handling business the way that they need to be handling business in your life. If we're going to be real, if we're going to be honest about the situation these people are contributing absolutely nothing to your life nothing to your development these folks are just around you spectating around you and they're jealous they are envious of you of your gifts of your talents they are around you just because they want the benefits of you the perks of being connected to you and as soon as you cut them folk off then all of a sudden that's right you're gonna notice that well dang since i ain't called you you ain't called me since i ain't knocked on your door you ain't knocked on mine since i ain't checked on you you ain't checked on me since i ain't reached out to you you ain't reached out to me you're gonna realize in that moment that you were more of a friend to them than they ever was to you sweetheart that's right that was just dead weight that was just things that was preventing you that was blocking your blessing and as soon as you part ways from them then guess what happened all of a sudden doors start opening all of a sudden good things start happening for you all of a sudden you start seeing things happening left and right and the only 
only thing that was separating you from your next move, from your next blessing, from your next yes, from your next open door was your connection to them folk over there. You holding on to folk that's damaging you. <laughs> it's, it's a power you gotta be an original baby it's okay for you to stand alone baby yeah 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 i do i just want to put it out there i know i i i know i'm gonna move on to the next note i'm gonna move on to the next note charlie y'all ain't got to do me like that i'm gonna move on to the next note though i understand some folks yeah go ahead and those of you that understand it send me a gift real quick those of you that caught that go ahead and send me a badge real quick go ahead and send me a, a, a badge over here on ig because i know that I, everybody ain't gonna love that part because all of y'all want to hold on to your a1 since day one a lot of y'all want to hold on to your bestie to the resty and some of y'all want to hold on to that boo boo that bun bun y'all don't want to let them folk go because you know what i'm saying you didn't got so used to them you so used to them that you don't want to start over you don't want to have to figure out nobody else's favorite color their favorite food their favorite things to do so you're just holding on to them and you're just settling in a life where you're not really fulfilled you're settling in a life in a relationship in a friendship in a marriage with folk that are not replenishing your cup that's not pouring back into you that's only there yeah 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 taking up space in your life and you don't know how to move around it because you got that codependency thing and you feel like if they walk out of your life then you gonna be by yourself if you disconnect from them then you ain't gonna have nobody and the truth of the matter is once you get the dead weight out now you're making room for yeah you gotta make room for your new new Put that in red ink, baby. You gotta make room for your new new. Make room for your new new. You gotta make room for your new new. Yo, you want that new new in your life? You gotta make some room for it. You gotta slide some stuff over. You gotta take some folk out. If you wanna grow in life, if you wanna develop in life, if you wanna really live up to your fullest potential, it's going to require some changes on your behalf. It's gonna require dedication on your behalf. It's gonna require a level of commitment on your your behalf that you've never had before why because you've never had this life before you ain't never wanted this life before you ain't never craved this life before you ain't never wanted what you want right now before so in order for you to get what you've never gotten it's going to require a different version of you your new your new gifts your new talents your new life is going to require a new version of you you're gonna have to be a you that you ain't been before it's some church folks dancing, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're you going to have to, baby. Yeah, it's going to... I see friends friend say yes. <laughs> you gonna, It's, it's going to require a new version of you. You, yeah, Once you start living this life right here, once you understand what peace and sanity is, once you get a taste of that new life, you're going to understand that not only will you be reintroducing yourself to other people, you're going to be reintroducing yourself to yourself as well. The more that you work on yourself, the more that you make positive deposits inside of your own life, the more that you wake up every single day and you choose choose you and you choose your joy your happiness your peace your sanity and the more that you follow through with your morning routines that you making those time to fast and to pray and to meditate and do your positive affirmations and you over there getting yourself out and getting active the more that you work on yourself you're going to see that you're creating a version of you that you didn't even know you had i don't know about y'all but this year right here about to be a i didn't know i had that in me kind of year for me I didn't know I had that in me. I didn't know I had that in me. I didn't know I yeah, wait a minute. I didn't know I had that in me. Ashley, I knew you was coming. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know I had that in me. That's what you gotta so yeah, you gotta shock yourself. You're gonna surprise yourself when you start seeing what you're really capable of, when you start seeing how great you can really be, when you start seeing how successful you can really be, when you start seeing how much at peace you can really be. This right here is going to be a year of I didn't even know I had that in me baby i didn't even know i could do that i didn't even know i was capable of that i didn't even know i was carrying that i didn't even but smart enough for that I didn't even know I could handle that right there you gotta understand that that's the type of year that we're setting ourselves up for back in November we said what oh baby this gonna be a new year for me and when by new year I want folk to understand that I'm going big I'm going big I'm going real big I'm taking all the shots I'm not plowing passing no ball I'm not doing none of that I'm shooting from the free throw I'm shooting from the stands I'm doing the layups I'm doing the jump shots I'm doing the three points I want folk to understand that that's how serious I am about my life. If you understand what I'm talking about, send me some love.
It's gonna require a you that you ain't seen yet. It's gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna require a you you ain't seen yet, baby. I didn't even know. I didn't even know I had that in me. I didn't know I was capable of that, coach, baby. I didn't start doing my morning routines. I was fighting getting up at 5 a.m. Now I'm up at 5 a.m. like it's nothing. I thought I couldn't do that, coach, but I'm doing it. I didn't know that I could read a chapter a day. I never been a person that wanna read. Now I'm picking up my books and I'm reading me a chapter a day, coach. I'm following all the plans. I didn't know that I was going to be able to fast. Never fasted the day in my life. But now that I'm fasting, I'm seeing within myself a level of commitment that I didn't know I had, coach. Hold on now. You showing me something about me that I've never seen in myself. Because you ain't never know who you are. You don't know this version of you. you yeah, yeah, you don't know this version of you. Oh yeah, boot camp, boot camp in session, baby. We're going learn we're gonna learn what we really can do. That's right, we ain't backing down from nothing. We want all the smoke. Put it in the comments. I want all the smoke. Yeah, you gotta play where it's safe. Yeah, we waking up and we working on ourselves. We waking up and making ourselves our priority. We waking up and making ourselves our own assignment. We're not working on nobody but us no more. We're not sacrificing but for nobody else but us no more. We're not going outside our way for nobody but us no more. Right now, we're the most valuable person on our team. Understand that. I am solely focused on myself. My vision is tunnel right now. Understand that. And the more that you work on yourself, you're going to understand that it's going to display itself in everything that you do. You thought you was a good mom until you became a great one. You thought that you was a good lover until you became a great one. You thought you was a good sister or a brother until you became a great one because the more that you work on yourself and better the person that you are it's going to reflect in the way that you respond and you show up in life that's why it's important for you to know who you are that's why it's important for you to do your self work you want to be a good everything to everybody start being good to you first yeah, yeah, you're gonna have to you gonna you gonna have to start being good to you first. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. And, and and I want you to understand in this process, baby, you you gonna have to tell some folk, okay, you do it your way and I'm gonna do it mine. And one of the things that you're gonna have to understand is this right here. Some folk ain't gonna be able to, to accept this new version of you, and that's the reason why you're gonna have to cut some folk off. Some folk ain't gonna be able to accept this new version of you, and that's the reason why you're gonna have to cut some people off. Because some folk are only gonna see you for the person that you used to be. Hello, somebody. That's a note right there. That's note number four. Some folk are only going to be able to see you for the person that you used to be. They're not going to be able to see this new version. They won't be able to accept this new version. They won't be able to understand this new version. They're going to look at it as fake. They're going to look at it as flaw. They're going to say that you're doing too much. They're going to say that it requires too much. I know you ain't got to do all of that. I understand that you're doing this. And that's the reason why you got to separate yourself. That's the reason why you got to put space in between you and those individuals is because some folk will not get this new version of you because they're so caught up in who you used to be yeah they they, they call that yeah 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 I, I i i i dare you to put in the comment section i ain't that person no more i ain't that person no more and put mo mo i ain't that person no more i'm not that person no more yeah they, they, they want you to be that old person so bad i dare you to declare it over your life though declare it over your life i'm just not that person no more i used to go over there and run after folk but i just don't do that no more i used to chase folk down and beg for love and beg for affection but i just don't do that no more you know what i'm saying i used to be wanting to know why people don't like me why they walking away from me and why they treating me a certain type of way but i'm at a place where i just don't do that no more understand that yeah i'm no longer concerned with how somebody else feel about me i know that i'm solid i know that i did the right thing i know that i'm faithful i know that i'm loyal and when you know that you're solid you know that you're faithful you know that you're loyal and you know for a fact that you ain't did nothing to folk then guess what you don't run after them you don't try to make it right you don't try to repair bonds you don't try to reach out you don't send no text message you don't look for clarity you don't look for closure in those situations what to do coach you let them chips fall wherever they fall you let them bridges right there you let them go ahead and burn baby if you think yeah 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 we'll never talk again if you waiting on me to talk to you hello somebody mm.
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I meant that. <laughs> yeah, we'll never talk again if you wait on me to talk to you. We'll never speak again, sweetie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't hold your breath. Don't hold your breath, baby. If you wait on me to speak to you, we'll never speak again. When I know for a fact that I ain't did you nothing, when I know for a fact that I've been solid, that I've been faithful, that I've been loyal, that I held down my part of the bargain, oh, baby, I'm going to let the bridges burn. I'm going to let the chips fall wherever they fall. We will never speak again if you're waiting on me to speak to you. Understand that, baby. And one thing I don't do is allow nobody to hold me up with no closure. I don't need no closure. I don't need no one time at band camp conversation. I don't need you to come and talk to me until your tongue hurt. You did what you did. I felt what I felt and my thing is what's next. I'm not hoarding no negative feelings. I'm not holding nothing over nobody's head. I'm gonna mosey right on about my business. That's what I do. Closure will not fix me. Closure will not heal me. Closure will not unexpose me to what I've already been exposed to. Closure will not clear up the lie or make the lie better. Closure will not fix that hole in my heart. Closure will not come over there and repair the damage that you've done through the manipulation the narcissistic and toxic behavior so therefore i'm good on it <laughs> yeah yeah I'm, I'm good on that yeah some folks some folk uh yeah some folk ain't gonna be able to accept the new you and that's okay some folk ain't gonna be able to accept the new you and that's okay they ain't gotta accept it they ain't gotta understand it they ain't gotta pick it up you gotta leave them folk right over there some folk will not be able to accept the new version of you or understand the new version of you because them folk themselves they are already unhappy in their own life those folks are already not at peace in their own life those folks over there do not know how to give love and receive love anyhow those folks don't know how to be a good friend don't know how to be a good lover or nothing already so you're expecting something from those individuals that they don't even have to give and you need to leave them right on over there and guess what they want you to stay in that broken state with them that's the reason why they won't accept a new version of you they want you to stay down bad right there with them they want you to stay depressed right there with them they want you to stay stressed out right there with them they want you to stay in the gutter in the mud in the trenches right there with them as long as y'all down bad together is happy happy joy joy as long as y'all both stressed out and depressed and got things going on negatively in y'all life then guess what everything is happy happy joy joy as long as y'all over there trauma bonding together exchanging all of these different sad stories having these depressing conversations over and over listening to each other lie about how you want to do this this and this and not seeing no type of action then everybody is happy happy joy joy that's what they want misery loves company i just broke it down mm-hmm Yo, yo, mi mi misery loves company. Yo, thank y'all. Man, y'all blessing me up over here on TikTok. I see y'all. Man, shout out, man. I see you, Julie Fly. I see that badge, man. Appreciate y'all. We need about, we need 20 more badges. No, not 20. I'm sorry. We need 15 more badges. We need 15 more badges, IG. Man, y'all over here, y'all almost at 400K TikTok. Let's go. The goal is 500K. Get us to 500K. Double tap on that screen. Thank you, Divine Time. How you doing, sweetie? Yeah, go ahead. Love me up, man. Love me up. Love me up. Love me up. Go ahead. Bless me up real quick. Talk to me nice. Yeah, yeah. Talk to me nice real quick. You know what I mean? Talk to me nice. It's okay. Some folk that, yeah, misery loves company. I just broke it down for you. They like misery loves company. As long as we struggling, we're together. You know what I'm saying? As long as we struggle together, we okay. As long as we going through all this negative stuff together, then we're okay. But the moment that you decide to get better, how dare you? How dare you? Thank you, Ashley. Loving single. I appreciate you, love. Yeah. Oh, how dare you? How dare you want to get better? How dare you want to grow? How dare you want to be happy? How dare you want to have peace? How dare you think you better than me? That's their mentality. Whether they're using the words or not. That's their mannerisms. That's how they look at life. So they'll never be able to accept the new version of you because they're so caught up in who you used to be. And if you're not careful, I'm going to really blow your mind. And, and if you're not careful, guess what? They'll try to hold you hostage by your past. Oh, yeah, 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 let me adjust myself. If you're not careful... They'll try to hold you hostage by your past. They'll go outside. Oh, oh, Pixie, that must be for you. I seen that gift. Yeah, yeah, I see that. You, you done sent the boat for me. Okay, hold, hold on a second. I got some more. But they, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll try to hold you hostage by your past because they intimidated by your growth. They intimidated by your healing. They intimidated by your peace. They intimidated by the fact that you're moving forward in life. Some folk will go outside of their way to not accept a new version of you because they they want to keep you in company. Misery loves company. I don't want you to leave me. I don't want you to outgrow me. I don't want you to walk away. How dare you? So they'll constantly try to remind you of the person that you used to be. 
They'll constantly go and throw up in your face the person that you used to be. They'll go outside of their way every single chance that they get to try to remind you of where you came from. To try to remind you of the negative things that you've done. They'll try to go outside of their way. Don't think that you all that. Don't think that you all that because I know the old you. I know the real you. I know what you really been doing. I know this and I know that. And they'll get their head rolling going. They'll go over there. Oh, they'll catch some of them. They'll be on social media. I'll expose you. I'll put it out there. I'll let everybody know. I'll do this and that and you know what you need to tell folk baby i'm not ashamed of nothing it is that i've done in my life every single trial or tribulation that i had to experience every decision that i had to make oh baby that was the best that i could do in that moment i'm not ashamed of it and i ain't got no skeletons in my closet oh baby these is all trophies these is all trophies over here expose me if you think that you can put me on front screen if you think that you can go ahead and make a mockery of me if you think that you can watch me stand what <clears throat> Uh, that's it. Ten toes and cut it off. Ten toes and cut it off. Watch me stand ten toes to the ground and behind it. When it come to me, I want all the smoke. I'm not embarrassed by nothing that I've done. These here are not skeletons in my closet. These right here is trophies. These are things that I went through and I conquered. These are things that I went through and I mastered. These are things that I went through that was sent to distract me or destroy me. And guess what? I'm still here. Yeah, put some respect on my name. Hello, somebody. Uh, put put it in the comment section. Put some respect on my name. You don't know what I came back from. Walking the street, lay up in a strip club, doing drugs, doing this, doing that. You don't know what I experienced. You don't know how I had to bounce back. You don't know about sleeping outside. You don't know about not knowing where you gonna eat, what you gonna have going on in your life from one moment to the next. Baby, you don't know my struggle. You don't know my back. Backstory. You don't know what I had to suffer through. You don't know nothing about me. I'm really that guy. Put some respect on my name. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put some respect on my name. Baby, these ain't no skeleton. These trophies. These trophies. You don't know what I had to go through to get here. You don't know the tears I cried to get here. You don't know the pacing or the flow that I did to get here. You don't know the crying in the shower that I did. Laying up in my bed next to somebody that didn't even love me but was tolerating me just to get here. You don't know about the 20 years of abuse that I had to endure in order for me to get here. You don't know about the betrayals. You don't know about the letdowns. You don't know about the abandonment that I had to suffer, that I had to struggle through to get here. Oh, baby, I ain't ashamed of nothing that I've gone through in my life. Those are not skeletons in my closet. These are trophies, baby. Talk to me nice. You gonna have to put some respect on my name. You gonna yeah yeah yeah. You gonna have to put some respect on my name. You gonna have to put some respect on my name. Talk to me nice. You gonna have to put some re yeah yeah yeah. You gonna have to put some respect on my name, baby. Hello, somebody. That's right. That right there. I'm I'm sorry, y'all. That was for the passion. That was for the folk that been where I been. That was for the folk that didn't struggle like I struggle. That right there. That was personal to me. That was personal to me. Some of y'all may have not experienced that. Some of y'all never might have never been in those situations where you got folk. That's trying to dangle certain things in your face and try to make you feel less than or make you feel inferior to or make you feel like you wasn't good enough or that you didn't measure up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all might have never experienced that before. So y'all just excuse me real quick. But for those of you that been there, that done that and yeah, 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 and got the trophy like me to show it, go ahead and send me some love real quick because that was for us. Mm hmm. That was for us. Some of y'all threw y'all phone and some of y'all was throwing shoes. I know. Yeah, yeah. But that was for us. That was for us. That was team us right there. That was step. That was team us, friend. I I, I see y'all. Thank you, Royal. I see you. Appreciate that badge. I appreciate you. Yeah. See, that was for us. Some some, some folk ain't gonna get that. Some folk ain't gonna get that. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they didn't have that experience just yet. But that right there. Oh, baby, that was for us right there. Hello, somebody. That was for us. That was team us. Some of us, we didn't been through some stuff. Some of us didn't had to cry through some stuff, some struggle through some stuff. Some of us had to lay down face flat in the dirt and in the carpet and ate wood understand that yeah 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 because we was down there so long yeah y'all gonna know y'all gonna know some of the rest of y'all i get it don't worry about it you know what i mean yeah, yeah if you keep living long enough you will get it mm -hmm. 
Oh, for it, it's okay to cry over here. It's okay to cry over here. Y'all already know how I feel about that. Cry right now, but take these notes and apply them to your life and get better. That it, it, it is okay, baby. Cry all you gonna cry, but when you get up off of here, you don't get up off of here the same. You don't walk away from this the same. If you're on your lunch break, when you get back from your lunch break, do you go, you go back to your workstation, a new person. If you're on your way to work and you was feeling down bad, you be you go into that with a whole nother mindset, baby. You take the notes, apply them to your life. Apply them to your life. I'm, I'm a mosey on down here. You understand? Okay, the next thing right here, because see, you gotta understand understand sometimes you're dealing with folk with an immature mindset yeah them, them the type of folk that try to hold you in your past the immature mindset and what i told y'all about the immature see the immature mindset when you're dealing with folk with an immature mindset they look at your actions as restrictions when you say no about certain things they get offended when you say you can't do certain things they get offended because their me mentality up here is still very much immature and they don't understand that when you're saying no about certain things oh yeah 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 it's about it's a, for the better of them it's because you don't really need that you don't we don't really need to do that we don't need to really go over here so when i made the video and i said about it um elevating your emotional intelligence is understanding that at one point or another you gotta you gotta work up here you gotta work up here so that you don't start pouring into everything that you don't start giving to anybody because people with an immature type of mindset they're all they're gonna do is take 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 and they're not gonna give anything back people with immature mindset will take your no as if you're being mean they will take your not showing up as if you're acting funny They'll take your I'm putting some distance so that I can work on myself as you doing too much and it don't require all of that So one thing that you got to understand is that you have to stay away from people with that immature type of mindset That's a black ink pen note You got to get away from folk with an immature mindset Get away from those folks Get away from those folks with those immature mindsets Because when their mindset is that way They got to retaliate on a negative level They got to respond to everything They got to give energy to everything And even the things that ain't got nothing to do with them that ain't got nothing to do with you so what you doing even over there that ain't even got nothing to do with your life your development or anything but here you are going outside your way stay away from folk with immature mindset because mm -hmm. even if you're trying to protect them they'll swear you against them even if you're trying to help them they'll be trying to hurt you even if you're showing up for them they'll find something to complain about stay away from them all together stay away from them all the, all together and then and as you come as you continue on this here journey and i'm about to wrap up i see i got three minutes and that you know I, but, but i want to say this before i go and you know i, I want to say this before i go i want to say this before i go one of the things that you got to understand baby yeah because you all listen to yourself you got to stay away from them jokers baby because when i tell you when i tell you anything that you do will be a problem anything that you say will be a problem when a person is not ready to grow when they're not ready to heal when they're not ready to move forward in life anything that you say to them will be a issue anything that you present to them even if it's something positive they will find a reason that's find something negative about it they gonna down talk it in some type of way shape or form they gonna find something negative in it no matter what you do you have got to stay away from immature thinkers if they yeah you don't they don't see past their nose baby mm-mm they don't see past they don't see past they knows and and, and 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 while you on this journey one of the things that i want to i want to break down about an immature thinker i i, I want to break this down for y'all if y'all don't mind giving me a few minutes i want to give me if y'all if y'all don't mind me going over a few minutes put put in a comment give it to me coach if y'all don't mind oh man y'all already reached the goal over here on tiktok man y'all at 540 k man y'all about to run it up to 600k double tap on that screen i think over here we need five more badges five more badges over here on ig before we hit our goal we we almost said I go IG we need five more badges five more badges if can I give it to you do y'all mind me staying can I get a can I get a couple minutes time I give it to me or oh, give it to you bring it on I see y'all IG y'all I'm in TikTok y'all ain't playing say keep going okay I got some more for you give it to your coach okay well do, say less one of the things about an immature thinker and what I want you guys to be mindful of especially while you on your self-development journey while you on your healing journey and you're working on yourself especially my people that's in the boot camp I want y'all to understand this dismantle that give me Dismantle that gimme. Dismantle that gimme. Dismantle that gimme. Only immature babies talk about gimme. Give me some, give me that. I want get, get, let go of that. Give me when I say give me, I'm talking about G I M M I E. That give me, give me, give me. I want, yeah, 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 yeah. We too old for the give me. We too old for the give me. Tap in with me real quick. I need you to tap in. We too old for the give me. We gotta let the give me mentality go. We too old for that give me. Hello, somebody, get away from the give me. I need for y'all to let that go. This right here, this is just a bonus because this was supposed to be. I was supposed to only give.
give that to my, my boot campers, but I'm giving it to y'all right now because I feel like somebody needed it. Dismantle that gimme type of thinking, right? Let that go. Let me tell you why, because we too old for that gimme. Stop asking God to give me, give me joy, give me peace, give me this, give me that, give me, give me, give me. Only thing that you know is give me. Dismantle that gimme and start correcting it by saying make me, make me, make me peaceful, make me loving, make me kind, make me joy, make me sanity. Understand that make me these things. Why? Because you want to attract those things. Yeah, yeah, you gotta become what you wanna attract. I know some of y'all threw y'all phone slam across the room because y'all did not know what I was about to say. Uh, yeah, go get your, go get it, go get, go get it real quick, go get it real quick. Yeah, friends say, "Woo!" I, I, I know, I knew it because when I said that I was gonna give it to the boot campers, baby, I, it blew my mind too. That's the reason why I had to say it just now. I couldn't even hold it in. It, it said boot camp note beside it. I was supposed to save it, but I, it was, yeah, it was just, yeah, I had to give it up. I had to give it up they had to get up out of here it had, i had to give i had to give it to you i had to give it to you if you're not in the boot camp the link is in my bio click that link tree stroll down to patreon get signed up class every thursday this week is gonna be friday because i'm on spring break but yeah it'll be friday but we have one class every week baby y'all don't come in there thinking that you're gonna be slack though don't come in there thinking that you ain't got no homework because my people on the whole fast right now they they, they, they got a whole assignment for a whole 30 days already they working on things right now so if you if you know for a fact that you ain't gonna do the work don't even worry about it because we, we don't play no games over there i check in with them every single morning they don't get no days off i'm up by seven and by 7 a.m they automatically get that message from coach already get up get up get active and i sit there and wait on everybody to check back in with me i go through and like every single comment get up get active get up get active get up and get to it don't care nothing about the mood that you woke up in get out of that if that's a negative mood get out of it they get checked first thing in the morning that's right that's when we talk about accountability buddy i'm all 604 i'm all slow at 606 all 606 i'm their account buddy i'm checking in with them every single monday or uh, every single morning and i check in with them with a full class every single week if you know you struggling with mental health if you know that you got some things that you need to work on within yourself the link is in the bio get subscribed to that patreon click that link in my bio that says link tree stroll down to patreon and get on in the room but baby you gonna have to dismantle that give me type of mentality you gotta let that go if you want love if you want joy and you want peace in your life then guess what you gotta become those things that you're requiring you gotta become what it is that you're requiring from other folk the more that you sit over there gimme give gimme give gimme give you just like everybody else you just like you just like everybody else you got to dismantle that type of thinking sweetheart it's about making me i want to be yeah i i, I made up a love because that's what i want to attract that peace i want to attract you got to learn how yeah that's 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 just that's that on that Mm -mm. You got to become what it is that you're requesting from other folk. If you're operating out of love, out of peace, out of joy in your life, if you're operating in that type of way, then that's exactly what you're going to attract from other folk. So if you're asking God to make you these things, I want to be made up in joy and peace and love. I want this is what I want people to feel when they're around me. And the thing about that, you get that by working on yourself. You get that by investing in yourself you get that by being dedicated to yourself you get that by being committed to yourself when people see that you eat sleep and breathe peace then they know that about you and what a happiness like i said the fruits of your labor the, the things that they will see in public will be a direct reflection of the work that you put in in private you ain't gotta tell them that you're working on yourself they're gonna see that all over you you're not gonna have to tell them that you're happy and successful in life why? Because they're going to be able to look at you and tell all of those things. They will see it before you even able to open up your mouth. They will see it all over you. And you will notice then that their conversations concerning you will start to change. Hello, somebody. Watch what watch this here. They'll start saying things like, oh, yeah, that's drama. Don't talk. Don't take that over there to her. 
She don't want to hear it. If that's chaos, yeah, ain't no need you trying to take it over there to her. She don't want to hear it. Oh, y'all got that going on? Oh, don't even worry about inviting her because, baby, she going to get here and see that and she going to be one way. They'll start not inviting you to certain things because they know that those things are not a part of the person that you are. They will keep certain conversations away from you because they know that you don't want to deal in those type of conversations. They will walk away and not say certain things to you because they know that you are not that individual. They might cuss like a sailor around other folks. But they'll notice the way that you speak The way that you behave And the things that you do If they slip and curse They'll be, oh, my bad friend I forgot, I forgot, I forgot They'll start correcting themselves automatically When it got something to do with you But you have first got to do the self-work on you I'm trying to tell you I'm, try I'm trying to tell you e Every single time I'm trying, your friend saying elevate. I'm, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. But you got to dismantle that gimme. You got to let that gimme go and start talking and, and tell and start telling God, hey, make me, make me a better individual. Make me a good communicator. Make me love. Make me joy. Make me peace. Make me sanity. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want people to see and feel every time that I'm around. Every time I'm around them, I want them to feel that love, to feel that energy from me. I want people to want to be around, want to talk, want to know what it is that I'm doing, how it is that I'm fixing my life. I want them to want to be a part of that. I want them to see the way that you're moving in my life, the way that you're healing my life. And I want them to want to get on board with that. I want my children to see me happy, to see me with a smile on my face, to see me growing and elevating in life and want to be part of that. I want them to look at me as if I'm their role model. I want them to look at me as like I'm their goal. I want them to look at me, not other folk and say, I want to be like that person. No, I want to be like my mama. I want to be like my daddy. I want to be like my auntie. I see the way that they done this in their life and that in their life. And look at how they're living now. Look how they changed that around. Look how happy they are now. Look how peaceful they are now. Look how they live in their life right now. That should be your goal. That should be your mission. I want to be the role model. Make me, not give me. Make me. Not give me, but I'm gonna get up out of here, man. That we, we, yeah, man. Y'all know from 10 10 to 11 11, man. This is where it goes down at over here on, on TikTok, over here on IG every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And sometimes we're gonna slide a Saturday in there, right? Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And every now and again, I'll slide a Saturday or Sunday or whatnot in there, depending on what I got going on. But I just want to tell y'all every single day that you wake up and you put 10 toes to the ground, I want you to sweat yourself, tell yourself how beautiful you are and how much you love you. Because it's no love like self-love And you first have got to love yourself Way before you are able to love anybody else Man, I want to tell y'all first and foremost TikTok, man, y'all about to really Blow my mind, y'all are almost At 700k Are y'all serious right now this morning I, Yeah, You know what, that's 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 bananas, man, shout out IG, man, y'all reached our goal Of 40 badges, man, I appreciate Every single one of you guys That took the time to send a badge To bless me up this morning, I appreciate Appreciate you guys. Make sure y'all follow Loving Single. That's my homegirl right there. She's also a really dope life coach. She puts out really good mental health uh, content. Make sure y'all support her over here on IG. Thank you so much, Ashley, for blessing me up this morning. Divine Time, Dessa, I see you guys this morning as well. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I see my mod is on here. I love you too, sweetheart. Is is Bash Bash Bod? Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys jumping in this morning and start my over here on TikTok. Shout out to everybody, man. I appreciate all the love, all the support, man. Y'all have made my Monday amazing, man. Y'all have made my Monday amazing, man. That's it. Y'all have y'all y'all have really blessed me up this morning, man. I y'all, you know what? It is it that's that's a blessing, man. I, I was work I worked on this message and made sure that I had this. What's up? What's going on, PM? I see you, love. Love you. Make sure you're having a good morning, man. That's one of my guys, man. He's in the boot camp as well, man. He is definitely putting in that work. I love it. For a friend popped in the in the class on Thursday. Friend came straight with questions, comments. He was he was in there. He was ready to work, man. I appreciate that. Them the type of people that I want around me. Them the type of people that I want connected to me. Folk that want to work. Folk that want to grow. That want to heal. That want to develop, man. Them the type of people that want to be dedicated to learning. That show up with all of their stuff and they read like, Coach, give me what you got. 
got. You know, you feel me? Give me what you got. I'm ready to do the work. That's what I want. And that's what that my Patreon is a motivational community. Nothing more or less. I put my live videos inside of there. I do my boot camp inside of there. I teach my Thursday night mental health support group is inside of there. If you are in my Patreon, it is not a regular Patreon, man. This right here is for the people that want to grow, that want to develop, that's really interested in rebuilding their life and creating a better version of themselves, man. And, and they are active. They are active. I'm talking about they active. And I love it. So, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you guys so much, man. Y'all at 715K. Y'all y'all ain't playing no game, man. I love y'all, man. Thank y'all so much. Uh, before we jump up off of here, I want to make sure anybody, anybody who have not grabbed your tickets for Queens, New York. Queens, New York. I will be in Queens, New York Saturday, April the 29th. I need for you guys to grab those tickets. Grab those tickets. It's only 14 tickets left until so out. I need y'all to get on the bus, the train, the plane, the carpool, whatever y'all got to do. I need y'all in Queens, New York. I'm talking to my D.C., my Philly, my Baltimore, my Brooklyn people, my Bronx people, my Harlem people, my Buffalo, New York people. Get on a bus, a train. Do what you got to do. Queens, New York is Saturday, April the 29th. I got 14 tickets left and y'all know Coach Like sold out. I need y'all to go grab them tickets up off of there. I want to see y'all in person and yes i sure am i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a meet and greet i am because i had to do a meet and greet because i want yeah because my people be wanting to talk to me you know what i'm saying and i had to create a time where they could come in and talk to me and share their stories and not be rushed so if you go on there and you see where it say something about the meet and greet then yeah sign up for the meet and greet because i want to hear your stories i want to hear your testimonies i want to see what's going on in your life i want you to be able to hug me to take a picture i want you to be able to have that opportunity to get your snapchat and all of that i want you to have all that together that's right i want i want to be able to look Love on you the same way that y'all love on me. So I got a meet and greet earlier that morning. And following the meet and greet is going to be the workshop. So I hope y'all ready. Bring y'all red ink pens. Bring your, your all of that stuff with you. Because we got plenty of notes. And it's going to be a whole entire workshop. Understand that. So that's Saturday, April the 29th. Queens, New York. I need y'all to get in the building. If you've been to any of the other mastermind tour dates. Y'all already know we ain't playing. I already know that. So we got yeah, New, New York, Saturday, April the 29th. Following that, we're going to be in Miami. That's going to be May the 27th. And following that, we're going to be in Miriam, Kansas. Miriam, Kansas is where we're going to be June the 24th. So if you go go on the event, right, y'all going to see the next three dates. Them next three dates is already up. Oh, we ain't playing. They are already ready. You know what I'm saying? How long is the meet and greet? The meet and greet is going to be an hour and a half, love. It's an hour and a half. It's going to be an hour and a half. I love you guys so much, man. I want to tell you guys, enjoy y'all day. Every single day that you wake up and you put 10 toes to the ground, I want you to sweat yourself. Tell yourself how beautiful you are and how much you love you because there's no love like self-love. And you first have got to love yourself way before you are able to love anybody else. I want you guys to enjoy the rest of your day. And if you don't take anything away from this live, I want you to take away the fact that this right here, baby, do it your way. Do it your way. Do it your way and let them folks do it theirs. Be original. It's nothing wrong with you standing out. You were not created to fit in. You working on yourself, you working on yourself and your development is going to require you to separate yourself from some folk. It's going to require some distance. It's going to require for you to be able to walk away from some folk. And that's okay. Less is most definitely more. You ain't got to worry about that. Less is definitely more. You just stay focused on yourself and your development. I love each and every one of you guys. And I want y'all to enjoy the remaining portion of your Monday.